G'day everybody. Weather is still bad. Power's back on, but oh, the weather sucks. So I'm bored. So I'm going to build this uh, J Car Motor Speed Controller Kit. Circuit board components. Got me little tools out. And uh, I'll show you how I go each step of the way. Okay, so I've got all the uh, resistors soldered on nicely. Next step is the uh, diodes. And there we go. All the uh, diodes are in place. The five standard diodes and then the two Xana diodes. And uh, time for the IC socket. Okay, so there's the IC socket in place. Okay, so all of the uh, capacitors are in place. It's starting to look like an electronic circuit now, isn't it? With my handiwork there, quite proud of that. And there's the three multi turn trim pots installed. Next is the uh, connector blocks and the fuse block. Okay, everybody, so now the end connectors are in that one there, that's for the external trim pot. Fuse holder, 20 amp fuse, and then the uh, terminal strip for actually making connections to the motor and the battery. See that there? M0, M, uh, sorry, M plus, M minus, 0 volts to plus 12. This can actually do 0 to 30 volts though. Um, that's the big solder lands. Get plenty of solder in them because they've got to carry the current. Um, I also, when I built these, uh, well sorry, when I built this, the uh, holes at the end here weren't drilled out of the formula to accept the M4. So if you do build this circuit yourself, remember to drill them out, otherwise it won't fit. And uh, always screw it down before you solder. Okay, so now I've installed the two transistors, the jumper links, and the test points. Time for the uh, heat sinks and the FETs to go in, and the uh, Schottky diode. Mm. Okay, so that's all the components in place. Everything's soldered, everything nice and beautiful. I must say I did a good job, if I must say so myself. Nice, good joints, nothing's going to go dry in there. And then, uh, yeah, just have to uh, wire in the external potentiometer and uh, hook it up and we'll follow the test instructions and see what happens. Got a little uh, electric gate motor that we're going to try. Okay, so construction is finished. I've just done the testing and the setup of all the trim pots like the uh, manual says. And uh, clamp meter, clamps. And uh, as I turn up the uh, potentiometer for the speed control, you will notice that we are now getting voltage. 3 volts, 4 volts, 5, all the way up until I turn it all the way up and it's getting full uh, supply voltage, which is from my uh, PC power supply come uh, lab supply. Now I'm going to hook up a motor to it and see what happens. Okay, so speed control is all done. All set up, worked perfectly the first shot, as I expected. <laughs> anyway, this is a uh, 24 volt DC uh, electric gate motor. Um, I scrapped it out of a unit where the rest of the electronics had failed, and it's a bit coggy, but it goes. Twenty amps, forty bucks. Beat that, Curtis. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Might try it with a bigger motor. Um, right now, this motor, the maximum I've seen it draw is one point four amps. Wow. <laughs> thanks for watching.